This is gonna be really hard for me to talk about, so bear with me. It's gonna get dark in here. We are gonna talk about the dark history on why jails were created. In 1863, African-American slaves were freed. They thought things were great, but they really just got backstabbed. Now, as you know, in 1861 and 1865, the American Civil War happened. During the Civil War, roughly 179,000 black men fought in the Civil War. They fought in the war because they thought America would look out for them, which ultimately made them worry because now how do we keep these people in control? The government needed a way to create peace, to keep the white people happy, but also take care of the African-American citizens that just got freed. Before the 1890s, where they started the Prison Act, jails and prisons tend to look like houses. Some like this. After the American Civil War, the number of U.S. penitentiaries in the South and West spiked. So, um, who y'all finna put in there? After this, a lot of African Americans were locked up. Their inmates' population surpassed 30,000. By 1880s, African Americans became the major inmates. They were backstabbed. You're telling me that they helped fight the war and then they were falsely imprisoned to do more labor. Convicts, who were originally slaves, dug levees, laid railroad tracks, picked cotton, and mined coals for private companies and planters. Mostly false imprisonment or doing more time than they deserved. Innocent man locked up for 37 years. 1944, George Steeny, 14 year old, electrocuted and he was innocent. We're still living in this dark history and Joe Biden played a part in it. Your president signed a crime bill what was one of the key contributions to mass incarcerations in 1990s. Especially hurting blacks and brown Americans. African Americans, they were never really freed. It just was switched. Black people were never given equality. Let's just clear that up. African Americans have been fighting for decades for equality from the government. Everybody be safe out there.